the McMurtry Spearling. So this video is in three parts. One is the exterior walk around, then I'll show you the interior up close and the last part is the best. I'll show you how quick this car accelerates on the racetrack. So I'm here at the, the Dubai Autodrome racing track and uh, wow, I cannot believe I'm getting a chance to see this up close and right outside the uh, car's paddock. So this is a single seater, fully electric hypercar and it has two electric motors. Now the unique thing about this car is that it's the way it's designed. You see, a regular car will have lots of wings and you know, smaller wings and front splitter, all to generate downforce. This car doesn't need to generate downforce. It's, the whole body is designed to reduce drag as much as possible. It's a it's completely different formula. So the aerodynamics of this car basically uh, do not rely on the body that much, which is very strange. So how does it work? Well, it has a secret and that secret, I cannot show it to you because it's underneath the car. See, this car has two large fans uh, situated just behind the driver's seat and those fans suck in air from underneath the car and that helps generate downforce for the car. So the car is generating downforce even at uh, standstill. That's insane. So the rest of the body that is short and narrow and that's because, you know, to reduce drag as much as possible. The car's body is also quite hollow to let the air pass through it. And uh, yeah, you have vents everywhere to let the air pass through the car and keep the battery system cool. So yeah, it's all very, very technical. Now, the reason why it has a rear spoiler wing at the back, that's to help it break and, you know, to corner. It's not only for downforce. Wow. So, yeah, this is a very, very fascinating car. It's fully carbon fiber. Uh, it has two electric motors. It makes 1,000 horsepower. And it weighs, it weighs less than 1,000 kilograms. So, the power to weight ratio is phenomenal. And, wow. So, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this car. Now, let me show you the spoiler wing up close. It's pretty much standard. But now, you have these two vertical outlets there. Just above that, you know, diamond shape outlet. So those vents are where the air from the fans comes out and those are designed to be very narrow to uh, make the air come out of the car's body at high pressure, adding more thrust to the car. So this is just the initial prototype. They're going to release a road legal version of this as well. Now this car actually has set the world's record for the fastest acceleration or the quickest acceleration at 1.4 seconds that's faster than the pinin farina batista faster than the rimac nevera that's insane no other car has ever been able to achieve such numbers and they're here today to break that record again so i have a video of that uh, at the very end so right now this car has just come from uh, one or two uh, attempts and they're going to go inside and change the tires so that they can go for another run that is going to be fun so let's have a look how this car drives it pretty much uh looks like a small batmobile and uh it is a little funny looking um, in terms of you know the length is very short to reduce drag as much as possible will they uh, eventually build a two-seater car who knows so for now this is a very new company this is their first car they've already broken records so they even set the record at the festival of speed and uh, yeah, they've made a name for themselves. They've uh, used a technology that was banned in Formula One racing. And the people who were responsible for designing this car, they're all ex Formula One racing car experts and drivers. So they know what they're doing. That's why this car is capable of such high speeds and high acceleration. Now, if you want to see videos of uh, electric car, hypercars let's say the lotus avaya the remac nevera a spark owl from china that's a 2000 horsepower hypercar do check them out on my channel and you can find regular hypercars as well the konsegs paganis bugatti's all of them are there including supercars hypercars but i have also another uh, interesting feat that happened today for me so i'm going to show you that as well let me know in the comments what you think about this car it is unlike anything I have ever seen or heard or even witnessed accelerating today. So this is it. This is the interior. I'm inside the McMurtry and look at how amazing it feels. So 
the steering wheel uh, has just five knobs those are for different things then you have uh, paddle shifters at the back it has six paddle shifters I'm, i don't think all of them are for the gears but there are six paddles now the rest of the interior there's just buttons and knobs and that's it so you're inside a metal cocoon or a metal coffin on wheels and there's nothing else uh, the battery pack of this car is actually underneath my feet right now that's the unique driving position of this car uh, you have lights on the roof they've added it and there's also a gopro camera now there's a lot of uh, carbon fiber all around me so it is very compact it's very claustrophobic i also want to thank mcmurtry for letting me have a look at the exterior and the interior of this car i'm never going to forget this day and uh, thank you so much for everything